Okay, we're back at the derailment again. This is uh, all that roll over the rail over there for a quarter mile or more is rolled over. This one's on the ground. All six wheels are on the ground. Goodness gracious sakes alive. Don't know what happened yet. I think it come off up here in this curve. It's a pretty sharp degree curve. Wow, Zowie, look how far over that is. Unbelievable. Of course, this rail here shoved over. You can see where the tie plates were, where it was, but my goodness gracious. It's been a long, long, long time since we had something major like this happen. This is the wow! I can't even remember when the last time we had something like this bad, like this happened. 18 years I've been track maintenance full time, and uh, this is the first, the first derailment like this we've had since in that time. Okay, let's go up here in the curve and let's see what we can find out happened up here in the curve. I, whole rails rolled over. All righty, I'll be back in touch. Okay, we're back again here. We got our number one locomotive re-railed and back to the harbor. And first I'm gonna tell you how they did it. Okay, uh, this rail over here, you know, was it wasn't here it was roll it was out it was up and down straight up and down like it is now but it was out this uh rail over here was rolled over on its side okay so the web was sticking up let me show you what the web is first that's uh this is our unloader down here the web's this area down in here this is the web this is the rail head the web and down here is the base so this web, so this row rail was rolled over and the web was like that. So you saw they had the, uh, you saw the, the trucks, how they were scooted in there. And what Halter did was they came down, they had a side boom over here and they could either pick it up from under here or this lifting up here i don't know which one they did they did this real early in the morning uh, i wasn't out there when they did it but this is how they did it so they had a side boom on this side and a side boom on this side pick this up set it over set these three wheels right here there's three wheels on the web of the rail okay there wasn't anything over on this other side to, to set it on other than chewed up ties which you saw then both side booms trammed up to the front and hooked on up here they picked that up and they were able to walk it up to where they had rebuilt the track you remember the track on both sides of the locomotive were torn completely out so they was able to walk that set of trucks up dragging this as they went along and like I said the other reels are rolling on that web and once they got these trucks up on the rebuilt track okay then they came back down here <laughs> picked this up again and walked it up so the this uh, truck was on the uh, on the new rail okay so that's, that explains how Halter did it. Um, said I wasn't there when they did it, or it was late at night. I'm, I'm not sure. It might have been around midnight when they did 9, 9, 10, 11. Uh, I got two different stories on when that happened. So, but anyway, it was, I wasn't there to see it, but that's how the guys that was there told me that they did it. All right. <laughs> So after they got this on, the locomotive had never shut down. Um, 
they trammed it four miles west up to the mine. They had to get it out of the way so that the track repair crew could come down, get on at the mine, bring materials down because I said all this track that was down here was just tore completely out as you saw. So they couldn't, uh, they decided that's how they wanted to work. Alrighty. So what happened? Let me, let me, uh, they brought, they took it up there. They got, when we got all the track put back together again, then they trammed it down here. Uh, we have our lifting jacks for this locomotive down here in the shop. Okay. Ah, uh, here's what happened. They, they trammed it 16 miles. So four miles up, 16 miles back down here in 20 miles. I'm uh, really hoping that you can see what happened to this flange in here on the wheel. It is worn down a tremendous amount. You can see the wear marks on it. So this is just like in 20 miles that happened. Uh, that's the major damage that happened. There was a few little pieces that were, uh, were torn off. Um, and they've got everything back together. The, the little pieces, like the sander, the end of the sander tubes and stuff like that, they got all that back together. But here's, uh, in here's what happened. This, this flange, okay, uh, the uh, Code of Federal Regulation specs say it cannot be less than seven eighths of an inch as measured from the top of the flange down. It has to be at least seven eighths of an inch. Now, I went to look for my flange gauge this morning so I could put, actually put it in there and show it to you exactly how it works. But guess what? Uh, either my flange gauge grew a set of legs and ran away or somebody borrowed it, which is more likely what happened. Somebody borrowed it didn't put it back where it belonged I can't find it so I apologize for that but here th this because of that tremendous wear. now the rest of the wheels are fine there, there's no no appreciable wear at all but this this one here is uh, and I and I really think what's happened in when that thing hit the ground and was dragging along on the ground that it's something in there has come out of a line and I don't know what but that's so that, that has skewed that wheel just enough out of perfect alignment that it's supposed to be in to chew that flange up in 20 miles uh, I took a tape measure in again in there and I measured it just by eye and it's three quarters of an inch thick Again, that's that's not a real close act. I need a flange gauge. I understand that. Uh, you know, I don't can't find the one I got. So it's uh, it's close to three in, three quarters of an inch thick, and that's totally out of uh, code of federal regulation specs. So this this has got to get fixed. Uh, they have a guy coming in Tuesday that's supposedly an expert on this kind of stuff, and he's going to take a look at it, see see what he can come up with they uh, I'm guessing they're gonna have to change that that front combo on uh, on this set of trucks and if you don't know what a combo is a combo is a, a traction motor that's complete with two axles and two wheels and it's all they got to do is just basically pick the truck up knock this uh, bar here off and the combo drop back right out so it's a whole lot easier to change an entire combo than it is a traction motor but i think you can understand that okay uh, so uh we're gonna have to wait till tuesday to find out what that guy says when he comes and looks at this but uh it can't get we can't run this in service till that gets taken care of so all right that's uh a lot more update on the story, our number one locomotive. So, uh, thought I'd, this is a week later from when it went off, a week and a couple days. It's been, uh, actually they got the track back in service on uh, 
Saturday afternoon at 2 o'clock they ran the first trip through. But uh, again, not with this locomotive. This is our original locomotive we had here. <laughs> it's seen a lot of miles, a lot of use. It's been a good girl. Okay, thank you very much for watching. And if I find out anything, uh, I'll let you know on what the guy says when he gets here. Have a really good day.